We are living in the world that being beautiful is most important thing and social media has created unrealistic beauty standards. Many of us can't never fit those expectations me included. I have hated everything about myself how I look, talk, behave and so on. I have compared myself those perfect Instagram models, but I can't blame all my insecurities to social media. Some of my insecurities I have get from school bullying. I started to hate how I look when I was 12 years old. I remember that some boys comment that I shouldn't wear bra because my small breast size. That comment has stayed on my mind to this day. So, age of 13 I started to use super push-up bras because I did want anybody notice my small breast size. When my teenage years started, I also got very bad acne. I tried e-pills and three different drugs to cure my acne but those didn't work. At the same time, I have dental braces and I must use glasses so I could see in school to the whiteboard. In my teenage age there was popular TV show Ugly Betty, so I was compared to the main character. I was bullied the way I look and that make me felt so unattractive and I couldn't imagine that somebody would ever like me. When I try to cover up my acne by makeup then they comment how much makeup I would use and how it makes me look even worse. I was raised up very strict parents, so my knowledge wasn't same level than my classmate. Example I wasn't allowed to watch certain TV shows. Of course bullies make clear how stupid I was because I didn't know what they were talking about. When I was 10 years old, I was asked do I know what sex mean and I hadn't had this talk with my parents yet. So every day my whole elementary and secondary school time I was laugh at lack of knowledge about sex. It didn't matter that I was 10 years old when this happened. So, my elementary and secondary school time my bullies make clear that I was stupid and ugly. Verbally bullying wasn't enough so they started steal my staff examples pens, notebook and so on. One time I have written on my notebook my school crush name, I know stupid idea. Of course when my bullies had taken on my notebook and saw my writing, so they started to tell everybody what they have read. And surprise, I was laughing stock in school. Because who would want to date this ugly girl? My other video I talked about escaping in my mind to go this trance state. Which mean that the reality start to fade and my imaginary to take place instead. 
I don't notice real world around me, but my subconscious mind take care of what is happening in real world. Example when I walk my mind start to fade out of this reality, but I continue walk like normally. When I transition in real world back, I can't remember what has happened. It started when I was about 7 years old but at time it was more like fun play for me. When the bullying started, and real world was too painful to live in, so I started escape my mind more and more. Also I hated everything on myself and my life so that anger was so strong that I didn't want to be me. So, I started to create, perfect me, inside my head. Because that person was so strong, so nobody could bully her or if somebody try this person would stand up those bullies. So, I started to live my daily life inside my mind and my teenage years I was spending more time in my mind than real life. After my school day I would go home and escape inside my mind and imagine the same day but what it could be if the person was that perfect me. And still this day when I am 26 years old, I can't accept my real life. Because I have spent more time in my mind lived there my life as this perfect me. This style of living is reasons why I have body dysmorphia and I struggle that I wouldn't take my own life. The real world and this imaginary are too far apart each other that I can't never be and live like this, perfect me. That mindset has caused me to not care am I still alive or not. Small part of me still believe that is possible to look like her so I have done couple plastic surgeries. One of those was boob job and why I wanted to do that takes back at that time when I was told not to wear bra because my breast size. So my body dysmorphia was telling me that was the only way that somebody would think I'm attractive. Of course, when you have body dysmorphia you can't be never happy the way you look. So, I have like five different plastic surgery on my mind that I believe that must be done if I want someone to like me. My body dysmorphia is very hard to cure because I have been comparing myself this perfect me over 10 years. My perfect me has changed over time depending on which are beauty trends at that moment. I don't have cure for body dysmorphia but for me most helping thing is the be on my own on save place at my home. Also, because I have social anxiety my dream is to buy my own house far away from cities and have a lot of outdoor land. Now I am living in apartment, and I have a balcony and my mind is peacefully place when I am taking care of my plants on my balcony. I want to spend my time in the garden and make my food from scratch. When I am alone, I don't think how I look, and I can keep my mindset in the moment. I have noticed when I talking to myself it's helping me not escape in my mind. If you are wondering what I am talking to myself is very simply like this.
Those strawberries are ready to eat in next week and I should make strawberry jelly. Yeah, I know it sounds funny. When I am planning what food, I'm going to make next week. I have planned something that going to happen in future. To me is very hard plan my future because I am used to think that I don't have nothing in this world. So I have to try think very small things that going to do next week or month. Making big plans for future makes me so stressed out because I am used to live inside my mind and think about my future there. I have very hard time think about my real life because I hadn't done that very long time. I have some debt to pay for before I can even get loan from bank to buy my own house. I try not to give up but then my imaginary world comes, and I start to live my dream life, but problem is that. Like always that person isn't me. So, the cycle starts over, and my depression get worse because my mind thinks that. Real me can't get that life. Then I start to think seriously about taking my own life. Now I have good medication so it's just habit that when something that I have planned don't work I start thinking that way automatically. Luckily nowadays I have friends that I can tell how I really feel so I can process my mind in real life. After those hopeless days I somehow get strength to start to do something that would get me closer to my dreams. That's the reasons why I have GoFundMe page, so I don't just sit and do nothing. Why I started to create this YouTube channel is because Imaginary Me has always done something good to help other people. She has courage to talk about her mental illnesses and help those who have same issues. So this is real me trying to make something to make different in real world. This is small step to make real world and my imaginary world to come closer each other.